The opposition through Henao lawyers filed a Supreme Court application following Parliamentary Committee's rejection to its vote of no confidence motion in the last sitting. The application is requesting the court to declare, amongst other issues, the court to order the Speaker to reconvene Parliament to deal with the motion filed by the opposition. Gabriel Bego reports. Opposition leader Don Polly, in a joint news conference together with lawyer Lani Henao in Port Mosby, announced the motion filed by the opposition in the Supreme Court. The application was filed last Thursday. According to Mr. Polly and Mr. Henao, the application is requesting the court to declare that it is mandatory for the process of a motion of no confidence in the Prime Minister prescribed by Section 145 of the Constitution the decision by the Permanent Parliamentary Committee on Private Business, and amongst others the court to order the Speaker to reconvene the Parliament to deal with the said motion. In this case, the motion was aborted when it reached the, um, uh, the committee. Uh, and the reasons that the committee gave, uh, we are claiming that are not reasons uh, to justify uh, aborting the motion of no confidence. And not only that, it just, the, the motion has been declared to be, uh, it was rejected, invalid. And we said, no. The opposition is saying, no, the motion is proper. And so we are seeking the court to declare that it's proper and rest of the process uh, in dealing with this motion to be, de to be dealt with. Mr. Polia says the application was filed to ensure there is democracy in the process of governance. The motion of no confidence is a private mem member's matter. He announces it, the speaker, who is the chairman of the committee, announces it on Thursday. And then from then on, seven days uh, period uh, kicks in. Uh, so after the seven days, which is the following Thursday, it's when the motion of no confidence is voted on. That's the only time when it is... It is, it is it's, uh, um, it's, that motion is completed, this process comes to an end. The copy of the application will be given to the Attorney General this week. Joy Bakir, NBC National News, Port Mosby.